What's going on everybody? So thank you so much for tuning in to this video. My name is Justin Ezor. I am a sound healing practitioner, transformational coach, and handpan musician and teacher. And today I am making this video and this video series uh, to help people who are maybe newer to playing the handpan uh, or maybe just got their drum and would like to learn some of the fundamentals. So I've put together a few videos here uh, that can help you out in getting started on your handpan journey. Now this first video that we're putting together is all about clean striking. So what does that mean? Often uh, when I find somebody who's new to the handpan, they make certain mistakes uh, when they're hitting the notes and it ends up creating a not clean sound, um, a lot of finger noise and or not uh, really good uh, tone from the different notes that you might be hitting. And so uh, we're gonna go into the basics about how to strike cleanly and make sure that you are getting the best possible sound out of your new drum. So let's dive in to clean striking techniques. Now, before we get into the how-tos, let's talk about things that we don't wanna do, common pitfalls that I see with uh, new hand pan players. So the first one is actually where I'll see a lot of the times uh, people who are newer will tend to mute the, the, the different notes when they're hitting them. And what I mean by that is um, you want the shortest possible contact with the note as possible. And basically the reason for that is it only makes noise when it's vibrating. So if you hit it and go uh, you know, away from the note quickly, the note can ring freely. What I see a lot of people do wrong is they will actually uh, hit the note and then leave their finger on it. And it doesn't make any noise at that point. And so what we really want to focus on is a really short, clean contact with the note. And the way uh, that I like to recommend that you use your hand, you can actually do this exercise here to kind of get the right hand motion, you know, making the wave with your hands. So what you want to do is use that kind of a hand motion. And then the strike is actually really all about the pullback. This is something that my one of my jazz drumming teachers taught me a long time ago. Um, but it's a really effective way to get the cleanest and best possible strike. So what you want to do is actually strike on the pullback. So your finger, keeping your finger loose, not tensing it up. You want to keep it loose and fluid. And then what you want to do is just hit on the pullback. So you're coming down and then pulling back and the finger is hitting as you pull it back. And that way you're making the shortest possible contact. You're not muffling the note. So that's the first thing I want to say about clean striking. And the next thing I would like to go into is uh, very often uh, people will use their uh, finger pads for striking. And what I mean by finger pad is this meaty part here. So I, I think that that's good. That's totally fine. However, you tend to get a little bit more finger noise than when you actually strike with the tip of your finger. So basically, uh, the difference between using your finger pad and your finger tip is it sounds a little bit like this. Here's the finger pad. Versus using the finger tip. So you can hear there that there's a lot less finger noise going on when you use the finger tips. So it's not wrong to use the finger pad, but if you want it to be a cleaner sound, I recommend using the tips of your fingers. Now, some notes about using your finger tips. Uh, first thing, you wanna make sure that you trim your fingernails nice and short, um, just so that you're not hitting with the nail, because the nail will make some additional noise. So just make sure that your nails aren't extra long. If you wanna keep your nails long because you're a guitar player or you like your uh, manicure, um, then you can just stick to using your uh, finger pads and just deal with the extra finger noise. If you are recording yourself, um, you would probably benefit from using the finger tips as much as possible because the extra finger noise will get picked up by whatever microphone you're using. Um, and in addition, uh, you're going to notice that, uh, especially if you're newer to hand drumming and hand pan drumming specifically, you're hitting the tip of your finger on steel. So uh, it's going to cause a little bit of soreness potentially in the beginning. 
Um, however, over time you will build up some resilience and uh, kind of deaden the nerves a little bit. So I can at this point hit pretty hard and consistently for a long time um, and it doesn't bother me, it doesn't create any soreness. In the beginning, it did create some soreness for me, but you just want to kind of get through that phase and uh, you know, go lightly in the beginning, mostly use maybe your finger pads just while you're starting out. Um, but you really want to uh, just start to build up that tolerance for fingertip striking. It's definitely much cleaner. The next thing that I would like to describe about how to get a clean strike out of your drum is to always make sure to strike on the wings. So if you're playing a rav bass specifically, this is really just more of a rav bass specific uh, uh, tip here. But you're going to notice that on each of these tongues here, each of the notes, there is the wing and then there's this meaty bit. I don't really have a name for it. But you're going to access more of the harmonic if you strike on the wing than if you strike down here. And I'll just show a quick example. So here's on the, the meaty bit here. Versus when you strike on the wing. Maybe it's easier to tell with the finger uh, pads even. So you can tell there's quite a big difference between the level of harmonics that you're achieving with the wing versus this part of the tongue here. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that you learned something from it and you got some value. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button and let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to hear your feedback. If you have any additional questions, if you want me to make other videos, you can request topics and perhaps I'll put it together for you. And if you're at all curious about private one-on-one -on -one lessons via video chat, I teach people from all over the world how to play the handpan, like a pro and I've been doing it for the last three years. I've picked up tons of exercises and techniques over the last 14 years of playing the drums and I would love to share them with you. So you can go ahead and reach out to me via DM um, and I will make sure to get back to you if you have any questions and or would like to discuss it. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I appreciate you and I will talk to you soon.